Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Java programming language. The program must accept an integer n as input and title registration fee duration duration of those n events as input It must first sort the n events based on some conditions. It must sort the events based on registration fee in ascending order. if two or more events have same registration fee then it must sort the events based on duration in ascending order If two or more events have same duration means it must sort the events based on title in ascending order. Finally, the program must print all the events as output the program must accept an integer n title registration fee duration of n events these are the inputs it must sort the n events based on some conditions it must sort the events based on the registration fee in ascending order if two or more events have same registration fee means it must sort the events based on the duration in ascending order if two or more events have same duration it must sort the events based on the title finally the program must print all the events as output title in ascending order now let us consider our test case this is our test case here we are having five events so now let us go to our condition from the last let us sort the events based on title in ascending order so from last let us go it will be easy for us so sorting the events based on the title so hackathon will be coming first next paper presentation next project expo next rapid fire quiz and at last treasure hunt now we have sorted according to the title in ascending order so sorted using title next we have to sort using the duration so here the second integer is the duration so 
sort the events based on duration in ascending order so sorted using duration in ascending order so the second integer is the duration time so the first event will be rapid fire quiz so let us copy and paste second one will be treasure hunt and the third one will be paper presentation and the fourth one will be project expo and hackathon so hackathon comes first and finally the last one is project expo now we have sorted the given using duration in ascending order so after that we have to sorted using registration fee in ascending order the first integer is the registration fee so let us sort this so rapid fire comes first and after rapid fire treasure hunt after treasure hunt paper presentation and hackathon finally project expo so this will be printed as our output now the logic is we have to implement a class event which implements comparable interface we have to implement compare to method to sort the objects we have to implement a class event which implements comparable interface we have to implement compare to method to sort the objects Let's implement our logic using java programming language this is the public class hello and this is the void main function we are getting the input integer n and a list containing the events as input we are iterating over the for loop and getting the input so we are getting the title registration feed duration and we are passing all the all the to the event containing title registration fee and duration so finally we are printing the finally we are passing collections dot sort for sorting the events and we are printing the object from the event so this is our public class and this is the class event which implements the comparable here we are getting the string title private string title and int registration fee and duration so after this we are declaring here event which takes arguments title registration fee and duration so here constructor so after this we are printing uh, every object from the event so we are using two string method because it returns only object so we are using two string method to display our correct output so we have to write the compare to function so public int compare to which takes argument event other so we have to check our condition if this dot registration fee is equal to equal to other dot registration fee means if both the registration fees are same means next we have to compare our another condition if 
this dot so we have to return if it is not same means we have to return this dot registration fee let us copy this and paste it here this dot registration fee minus other registration fee if it is not true means our second condition is if this dot duration equal to equal to other dot duration means we have to return this dot if both the durations are same means return this dot title dot compare to of other dot title return this dot title dot compare to of other dot title if the duration is not same means that is this dot duration is not equal to other dot duration means we have to return the this dot duration minus other dot duration return this dot duration minus other dot duration this is our public int compared to function so this is our override public string to sync function which is used to print the output this is the class event